For me, the CAA STEM programme is really important. We've got a shortage of aviation professionals. We've got new technology, new innovations coming into our industry and we need new, fresh talent to be able to join us. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths. And we have a fantastic programme which is supported by the Department for Transport that brings together a huge group of volunteers within the CAA to go out and do outreach activity and promote STEM subjects in the hopes that we can inspire them to study STEM subjects and potentially a career in aviation or aerospace. The CAA colleagues have developed workshops online such as What's My Job and delivered virtual life talks into secondary classrooms and even reaching primary school assemblies, so touching whole schools. Well, aviation and aerospace throughout its history has been about technology and it's about people developing and designing and then using that technology. So we need to make sure that people have the right skills and experience and training in order to be engaged in that and to ensure that the future of aviation and aerospace continues to be as bright as it has been in the past. So the relationship between Primary Engineer and the CAA STEM programme is this perfect alignment of both of us having the same aims. What we want to do is to be inspiring young people, uh, getting them to understand more about engineering and technology, to start thinking about that that could be a role for them, and for them to be able to identify themselves with engineering and to see that that's a possible route for them in the future. We're really enjoying working with the CEA STEM programme. It's great to hear about how much effort and momentum you have in your work with young people. And we're learning from you, learning with you, supporting your thinking, and really enjoying that as you are members of the Tomorrow's Engineers Code. We're also very excited about the content that you're producing for us to share with young people through the Big Bang Digital. With the government focus on STEM, um, it's really our responsibility as a university to make sure that we are actually uh, looking into the future, um, for the future careers, future possibilities for, for our students and what, what industry is actually looking for. So to have a STEM focus um, and also to have something within the aviation sector and the aerospace sector um, is really, really important because our drive very much now is focusing more on, on, on STEM subjects. The STEM programme, I think, is essential for the future of aviation uh, industry in the UK. The, the rate the industry is changing now is, is something we haven't seen probably since the 1950s. Um, we're seeing new types of technology, drone technology, potentially flying cars, flying taxis, uh, we call advanced air mobility. All of these technologies just are going to require a huge amount of design, a huge amount of engineering to get right, and behind that are all the STEM subjects. Initiatives um, such as the partnership with the CAA is so important for the John Egan Trust because we work through strong partnerships. Um, we're able through our network of 47 schools across the UK to be able to add a, act as a bridge between the young people who are um, in rural areas predominantly, in areas where they might not see beyond um, their school and their local community. We're able to use a mechanism through our fantastic partnerships to help the young people see themselves and their futures differently. Um, at Stansted Airport College, we recognise that the education sector still has some way to go um, in preparing young people to enter jobs in STEM industries. So we fully understand the importance of our role in responding to the gaps that have been identified in the employment market especially geographically where we are based in the Innovation Corridor um, in, in East Anglia. One of the, the biggest things for, for us is the fact that what the students were saying is that the focus on equality, uh, diversity, I suppose social inclusion, call it that, um, was really, really important because at, at West London here we have about 60% of our students are female, 60% are black ethnic minority. Uh, you know, backgrounds. Over 50% are from, um, I suppose, areas of multiple deprivation, it's called. So really seeing an organisation like the CAA is so important in, in the industry in the United Kingdom that are, are as inclusive and are actually trying to promote that type of thing uh, is really, really important to them. And it's the one thing they can now see that maybe there's an invisible perception, maybe some areas are close to them or that they would find it hard to get in. But now they can see, you know, this, through that collaboration, just how, how many opportunities are available uh, actually to, to all backgrounds. Working with the CAA STEM programme, our students have the opportunity to gain first-hand experience of the vast array of jobs that can be accessed and are gaining confidence to apply for those jobs with their inherent and targeted skills and therefore reach their goals. CAA colleagues were also instrumental in helping us to um, close the digital divide during the pandemic. 
Computers at the CAA had that were no longer in use due to an upgrade were refurbished and then donated to schools in need around the Gatwick area, which is some, has some of the most deprived pockets in the whole of the South East. Um, and in doing so, has really given an opportunity to some of our most vulnerable pupils. I mean, this really is what our programmes are about, and we actively seek partners that demonstrate our core values of excellence, resilience, determination, and I think for some of our young people to hear from the ambassadors at the CAA about maybe the times that they tried for something, it didn't quite work out, but they got back up on their feet and tried again and to be in the roles they're in now. That's such a powerful message for young people on our programmes. I completed my degree in aviation management with commercial pilot's licence here at the University of West London and currently waiting for the results for that. My hopes for the future then are to make the first inroads into a career in aviation, whether that's as a pilot or most notably uh, in the cargo sector, something that's growing and that's something that I'm very passionate about. I did have a passion and I wanted to go into this sector, but through doing the work experience it's like further cemented it because I was thinking maybe I want to go to mechanic, like automotive or somewhere else, but doing the work experience has really narrowed it down and said like I want to have a career in aviation and I want to be able to pursue all the like possible routes that are available for me. Initiatives like the CAA STEM programme help students see the breadth of contemporary STEM careers available to them and presenting them in a really accessible way with a wide range of role models. It's that power of people and power of um, kind of careers and ambition that it's, it's, it's so tangible through a partnership such as the one that we have with the CAA. We just see all of this extraordinary Blue Skies thinking so when we work together with the CAA, we are inspiring young people, we're showing them that this is what engineering looks like, and then we let them lead the way and show us what the future of engineering can look like, um, which is incredibly encouraging to see all of these thousands of entries from young people who are engaging with engineering, identifying themselves with engineering, and then showing us what engineering could look like in the future and how it can make the world a better place. Well, the CAA has got a fantastic uh, role to play in enabling a thriving aerospace enterprise in the United Kingdom. And a part of that is ensuring that we promote STEM to the greatest extent possible. And that's part of our duty to ensure that we secure the future of aerospace in the United Kingdom and beyond. For me personally, I just think it's fantastic to have the opportunity to get out there and speak to young people as they had the chance to do a few months ago at Hurlford Primary School, which is near where I was born and brought up. And just to see the energy and enthusiasm of those young people, uh, I feel it personally. I know we feel that across the CAA. Uh, and we want to take every opportunity to uh, encourage young people to aim high and to realise their fantastic potential.